You know, we've all found ourselves stuck in a date from hell, and I had one. I mean, we, I think we all do, but you never want to see the guy again for the rest of your life. Am I right? And to have a reunion is a great idea for a talk show. So today, dates from hell reunite. We'd like you first to meet Tracy, who says her worst date was with a guy who sold used underwear at... No, Jenny. I don't know. I don't know. And had a problem with personal hygiene. Okay, we'll hear... We'll find out the story. You're also going to meet Kristen right here, whose blind date wanted nothing but sex from her, so he just asked for it. <laughs> let me... Tracy, let me start with you. You placed an ad to meet this guy, right? We are. Uh, so, I placed an ad in a person. Oh, wait a minute. Would you smile for us? What's which side? What do you have on your? What's on your? It's, it's a rhinestone, and it's for uh, fashion. Okay. Yeah. All right. So there's no guacamole on my tooth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you placed an ad, and this In guy responded. How, right. how did he sound from the response? He sounded like he was a, a nice man, you know. Or he, he said he had a profession, and you know, somebody that I wanted to go on a date with. Did he describe himself as what a businessman? Or yeah, yeah. He he said that he that um, he uh, purchased used models clothes. That's what he told me. Okay. You know, after they do the runway, then he gets them at a discount, and then he sells them or whatever, yeah. Okay, so you made a, a date to meet him we at his... Made it, okay, we made a date, and uh, he said, I said, well, you know, I want to go somewhere, you know, in, with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So he says, well, I go to this bar after work. I'm not a drunk, but I go there every day after work. I'm like, well, okay, that's fine. We can we can meet there since that should have been your first that's clue. That's home. Okay. <laughs> since that's home. We can meet there. So um, he told me that uh, he said I have dark hair. He said, and I'll be wearing a black short leather coat. I said, well, okay. I said, well, I'm black, and I'll be wearing a long black leather coat. <laughs> and he said, okay. He said, okay. And I went to the bar and. Um, and, what happened um, when you walked in the door at the bar? When I walked in the door, I, just, I looked around, and as usual, when you walk in somewhere, um, everybody looks at you. Everybody turns around and looks. So mm -hmm. I just scanned the place, and I looked at the person who seemed the most happy, you know, because I don't, I don't, I'm not ugly, but, you know, your date would be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> so I looked, and he was waving, flagging me down, come this way. <laughs> so, so, so I go, and, 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 and I looked at him, and I said to myself, oh, God, but he had saw me. So I'm not a rude person. You mean you wanted to leave? If he hadn't I, seen you, I, if he hadn't seen me, I would have left. If I could have looked well, in the window and on, saw him. Based on what? You just saw him across the room. What did you but see? He saw me. That's the point. He but saw me. What did you see that made you want to leave? He was, he was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he was ugly. I mean, he. I, I knew that. I knew that he was Caucasian because race doesn't matter. You know, I knew that. Yeah. But it was. He was ugly. He wasn't. He wasn't nine zero two one zero. Ugly? Why, why do you say that? What was it about him? Did he have like... His hair stood up too high. I think he had too much mousse. Hey, don't y'all use mousse? <laughs> he had too much mousse. <laughs> like real high. <laughs> and, 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 and he just, you know, looked like... You know, he just looked cruddy. So, what, was he, what was he wearing? He had... Um, I, I can't remember what he had on up on his coat, but he had some slacks on and he had that short leather coat. It wasn't a, a new one. It was an old pimp coat. <laughs> on the face with the collar. So, you know, I said to myself, uh-uh, you know. So, so he did, like, I went over and I sat down. And then I was like, he said, Tracy? And when he said that, he opened his mouth and all this crud junk was on his teeth. <laughs> Just, I mean, he hadn't brushed his teeth. And I, 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 <laughs> I know that he is here, but I don't care. You know, I'm telling the truth. He had that crud junk on his teeth. You, know, he, you, you a, know he's back there listening to you, yeah, right? He can hear everything you're saying. I, I, I tried to get... I, wanted you to get him because I haven't seen him since then. So he had this crud stuff on his teeth, so if he had a salad that day with pepper on it, the pepper was gonna stick to the crud on his teeth. <laughs> so he his teeth and, and, and he didn't smell musty, he kind of was funky. You know that? <laughs> you, know, you, know, no, you know you catch a whiff every now and then? I was like... So I was sitting there, I was like, well, you know, I'm just gonna sit here, have this date, you know, and, you know, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna talk to him no more, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a rude person. What was going through your mind? You figure you're stuck there. I was, no, I wasn't, no, I wasn't stuck. I was driving, so I could leave. When I got ready to go, I was going, getting in the car, and I was gonna leave, and that was the end of that. Because, see, Tom didn't have my phone number, okay? okay? He, you know, through the personals, you get to listen to the sure, person, and then sure. they call you. So I called him, and he didn't and have he, my phone You're number. saying he smelled bad, too? It, it wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. A truck with pigs on it. That's bad. But this was funky. This was a funky, musty, 
musty, I don't know what it is. Somebody knows somebody that smells like that. It might be somebody sitting next to you. <laughs> it might be somebody that's sitting next to you that smells like that, so that's them. All right. So, so, so we're, we're talking and the date is going We're not on even into the date yet. We haven't even gotten to the does. date part. This, this is, you need to know that yeah. there are bad dates out there. Okay. So we, we, we're talking and then he tells me, he said, well, what do you do? I said, well, you know, I sell jewelry. You know, I'm in a, you know, I'm in jewelry business. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, you know, he said, well, what I'm trying to do is, he said, I take the money from the, the, from the clothes that he does with the models or whatever. He takes that money and he buys lingerie. Okay? And he's trying to get people to model his lingerie. So I was like, oh, I said, well, that's nice. I said, I've never, you know, want to model lingerie. I've wanted to be a topless dancer, but I've never wanted to model lingerie, <laughs> you know? So we're talking and talking, and I was like, okay. Every other conversation came up on a prostitute, and I noticed that about him. I said, Tom, do you mess around with prostitutes? And he said, oh, no. He said, no, I don't. He said, I just... I just, um, um, me and my friend go and we mess with them. I was like, mess with them. Oh, mom. do you we, think, do you think he thought you were a prostitute? Did he? Yeah, yeah. Do you I don't think know. If, if he did think that I was, then it wasn't a prostitute that he didn't ever seen before because Tom looks gross. So, <laughs> ain't no, ain't no highly paid prostitute gonna talk to Tom. So I know he didn't, he couldn't have thought that. He probably thought, you know, well, maybe he did. I don't, I don't know what he thought. I wasn't thinking about what he was thinking. What else did he talk about? He talked about he talked about prostitutes. prostitutes. I asked him, I said, well, how do, you know, why do you mess with those prostitutes? I said, you know, I said, leave them alone. They're making their money. Well, we just, we just drive up to them, and then we act like we're going to make them come to the car, and then, and then we just drive off. And I was like, Tom, I was like, well, you know, we have, I said, well, we're getting ready to go now. You know, I said, well, I'm finna get ready to go. Then he tells me, can I give him a ride? Why? He didn't I said, I was like, you buy lingerie, you buy, buy a car. You know, and he said, well, I woke up one day and my girlfriend had left me. I'm thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder why. My girlfriend had left me, stole the car, and took my money and called me from somewhere and said she wasn't coming back. I was thinking to myself, well, I was like, well, do you want me to run you somewhere? First he said that he wanted to go home or whatever. So he has me driving way out north as though he's finna go home, okay? So we get, we get there and then he said something about a motel. And I was like, I stopped the car. I am black, excuse me. I stopped put the brakes on in the middle of the street. I don't care about going to jail. Listen, make up your mind. Where are you going? Did I he have to go. <laughs> You know, go to a motel? Is that what he No, no, he didn't ask me. He just, you know, he was just saying things about a motel. He never asked me really anything. He would, he would just say things, you know. Well, he said he mentioned something about a motel and he had enough money for a motel or something. I said, Tom, I'm sitting in the middle of the street. This is the Coliseum. This is the highway that takes you to any, any bypass that you uh -huh. want to go to. I'm in the middle of this highway. I own brakes. Excuse me, make up your mind where you're going right now. I said, because I got to go. And where'd you, so, where'd you wind so, up so he taking? Said, so, so he said, well, 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 I got some business in the morning at the office, and I have to be there early anyway, so I go, well, I, take me back, take me to the office. I said, now, where is the office? And he told me where the office was, and I was familiar, because we live in the same city. So I took him back to describe, his office, describe and the something I want to see. I don't care. I know all y'all have something to say about why you go and all that old mess. I went because I wanted to. But anyway, <laughs> I, I, I wanted to see. Because you know we are thinking that. You should have. You could have just left him there and driven off. But you did go to his office. Yeah, yeah, I went to his office. I go where I want to. I'm driving. So I, I, I take him. I take him. You know, and we're. You know, I take him to the office. He goes. And he goes to this back door, which is a real big building. You know, it could be an office. In yeah. There. Opens up the back door, and immediately it's cold outside. But immediately, colder air hits me. So I know the heat ain't on. I said, he, I said, the heat ain't on up in there. No you know? heat. No heat. No, no lights. Heat. And he grabbed the flashlight, and he was flashing the flashlight around. And I was like, Tom, you know, and by this time, I'm like, you know, I just snatched the flashlight. Did he, did he explain him. why there's no heat, no lights in yeah, his no, office? Yeah, I asked him. I said, well, where, why is there any heat on? Where's, where's the light? Well, we're transferring businesses or something, and, and I just had them turn the, turn the heat on uh, and, and, and the lights on over there. And I said, well, you should turn the phone on over there first. I said, you can talk in the dark. I said, turn the phone on, and then you have the heat, and then the What else did on. you see in the, in the office? Okay, I got the flashlight. Can I stand up? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I got the flashlight, right? You know, I snatched it out of the I got the flashlight, and I'm flashing the light around and carrying on. You know, looks over here, and, and, and there's a desk. You know, there is a desk. So I was like, well, maybe he do do something, you uh -huh. know? There's a desk. <laughs> there's a phone on the desk, and there's a bunch of these fast food bags, mm -hmm. you know? So, you know, he, he take out a lot or whatever. Shine the light over a little bit more. Over here is a twin mattress with a blanket on it. <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> on the floor? Oh, he sleeps here. On yeah. the floor? On the floor. On the floor. Kerosene heater over here. Then I turn it around and then like right in back of me, which I'm just gonna turn this way, right in back of me is this whole line of old negligees. 
Doris Day negligees. Not the kind with the string up the butt and, you know, <laughs> chest out, none of that. But these, these old kinds that when you turn around, they flare <laughs> out like that, you know. What did, what did you really, what did you really think he did? No, it, it, did, it did come to me. We was talking about the, the, the negligee. Yeah. I said, Tom, nobody's gonna model this. <laughs> you know, nobody's gonna put this on. I said, if they put it on, it's dry rotted. I said, it's so old. It's like 50s, 60s, you know? But what did you think was going on in there? I, I, I didn't think at that time. I still got the flashlight in my hand, and I looked over, you know, and by the fast food bags is a Polaroid camera. Uh... I said, Tom, don't you think you should choose a 35 millimeter? <laughs> <laughs> by this time, ding, you know, it's clicking in, and I'm saying to myself, I'm finna get the hell out of here, you know. I'm finna go. Do you think so, he was into pornography? I'm a, he, here, I'm gonna ask him. I'm asking, what was he doing with that man? Do you wanna ask him now? Yeah, I wanna ask you. Do you I wanna ask him? him? What are you doing? What are you doing? story in just a moment. <laughs> from hell is what our show's about today. We just heard Tracy's story of her date with Tom, who just walked on. We haven't heard from you yet, but you heard what Tracy said. Is this the same leather jacket she was talking about? I suppose. Okay. <laughs> That's it. It ain't no more like him. She said you... Ain't no more like him. <laughs> That's the same one. Can we, let's talk about the... Can we talk about the, the personal hygiene first? You know, she did well, say... You come sit right here. You see for yourself. No, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Right here. Come All here. Right. Tom, I, I, did you, uh, what do you have to say about your, your personal hygiene? Well, first of all, she was cracking on my hair. I like to know what the hell's on her head. Well, it's right. not a, not a mop. Because, uh, you know. It ain't no mop. Uh, I, I tell you that. Look at it. Look at it. Raise it got, up some. He's got nice thick hair. <laughs> I'd, I'd love to have thick hair like that. Your hair's, okay. So, um, she said you hadn't, hot. hadn't brushed your teeth for a while? Possible. <laughs> You hear what I'm telling y'all? I ain't lying. I'm wrong. <laughs> you mean you're there to meet this woman for the first time? You didn't brush your teeth? I wasn't expecting to uh, really get really close to her. This is just a blind date, okay? And uh, you, you only brush your teeth on special occasions. <laughs> Excuse me, okay? Shut your mouth and let me Don't talk for a moment, Don't okay? Don't be mad. Don't be mad. Right. But you know what? Let, let him talk, though. <laughs> let him talk. This is, this is, this you is Tom's time let to talk. You had your choice. Let me speak. I'll yeah. speak whenever I want to speak. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Go yeah. Yeah. Tracy, Tracy will let you talk. All right. When she walked into the bar, of course, people looked at her, all right? Because the outfit she had on looked like she painted it on, okay? The first thing she said when she sat down was, uh, order me a drink. So I did. Oh, you All are right. such a Wait, liar. Wait, let him talk, Tracy. Let him talk. What was she I, wearing? I, I, honey, what? I'm black. I'm not gonna sit here and let him lie to me. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. We sat there and we talked. And he asked me, he said, would you like a drink? And I said, yes. He said, what are you having? And that's what I told him. I want to hear about what she was and wearing, Tom. No what was she wearing? Describe what she was wearing that looked like it was painted on. I... It was some kind remember. of an outfit. Don't I don't know what it was, to tell you the truth. Something I never saw slinky? It myself, Something slinky. Probably, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but you s when she sat oh, down man. and asked for the drink, okay, uh, I bought her a drink. But before this all happened, I told the bartender, I said, now, there'll probably be a lady coming in asking for me. And I said, look over at me, and if I don't want to talk to her, I'm going to shake my head. Well, she didn't even bother going up to the bar. She comes straight over there, has me jumping up and flagging her down. You did That's wave me over. Did. He said. No, no. Well, wait a minute, Tom. And when you first saw her, when you first saw her walk in, what did you think before you even spoke? What did you think when you first looked? I thought the zoo was open. <laughs> you thought the zoo was open compared to that fat lady that you said called you every day, the big fat one that you said was like she just called me all the time. I don't want her to call me no more, but she just called. Me. <laughs> 
Tom. And by the way, she don't call me no more. Oh, she'll call you no more? All right, Tom. She heard she's going to be Tom, on the chick. But you told our producers that you thought she was attractive when you first saw her. Excuse me? You told our producers you thought she was attractive when you first saw her. He's mad at me. I'm only saying that to be nice to the lady, okay? All right? Okay. So, I am not. I was brought up. Shut your mouth, Mom. What, what's coming out of his mouth? You're worse than my damn dog. Listen, listen, listen. What's Trent. coming out of his mouth is part of the stuff that's on his teeth. Okay, wait, wait, Trent. Wait, let, 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 let Tom talk. We've got to have... We really want to hear Tom's it's, it's side of the story. All right. So tell me about your conversation. You, you are, I don't know what thing. Crazy. Tell me something one more time. We're going to have it on this stage. <laughs> you don't give me some respect. Okay. Tom, tell me about your conversation with Tracy. Well, we did get a discussion going, and uh, every time, you know, we were talking about uh, different things, and... Forget all thing, that. Get to the camera oh, and the negligees and all this. Well, no, we're not, here no we're not there yet. your damn still... fantasy or something, is, lady? It, uh, did you, did you it, have them? Did is you that have your them? fantasy? You ain't have them? You didn't have them? You gonna sit no. in my face and say you didn't have them? There is I no mattress on that floor. Oh, what, what, what was it? So it was a rug. Was like, oh, oh, a rug. Yeah. A rug. A rug. Yeah. A rug. Yeah. That thing. A rug. Twin matches, but it was a really thick rug. Okay. Tom, <laughs> there was no camera in the building. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? Why are you lying? On I national am not TV. lying. At Anybody all. that knows was, you know you're lying. Was oh, how about the lingerie? Was the lingerie yeah, there? Yeah, there's lingerie there. What, what were you doing oh, with the lingerie? With we sold lingerie. I did that for a living. Used? Huh? Used? There, some were used and some were new. We had other clothes in the building too that she forgot to they tell you about. They don't even make those no more. In the fifties, they don't even make those no more. So where you buy it from? Goodwill. Let me get back to the. Let me get back to the conversation. Uh, I really. really I, I want to hear what. Let me hear what Tom has to say. Oh, yeah, Let's really go back to the bar. Ooh, You're ooh. talking. Am I here moving too? Oh no. Oh no. Let's uh, go back. Uh, let me hear about your conversation. What? What? What was Tracy talking about? Mostly, she was trying to impress somebody about her breasts. Okay. You are such a liar. You was looking at my chest, and I said, I said. Well, how I could him, I, I said, forget? I, I mean, said, well, you know, I said when you, you, he was looking at my breast, and I was asking him to look at me to talk to me. He was looking at my breast, and that's like, well, he said something about they was large, and I told you they were 40 D. They mine. <laughs> Thank God. What were you wearing? Something low cut? You know, I had on, I had a. Do I don't even have on nothing low cut? Are you now. showing cleavage? No, no, no. I had on a dress shirt that buttoned here, and I had on it, a belt around the shirt that came down here, and some stirrups and some boots. That's what I had on. In a bar. What else were you talking about? Uh, it, it was it was Katie's Capers, not 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 like a disco club. Okay. It was a it was a bar, country music bar. Right. I'm going there with my out. Please. <laughs> All right. Let me go. Let me go back to Tom again. I still want to hear more about your conversation. How was it going for you? Did you did you like talking to her? Was it Well, first of all, when she we started talking and she kept on asking me about uh what kind of money I made. Okay? And it was always money, money, mm -hmm. money, money, money. Mm -hmm. How could somebody okay. get in money when you're talking about prostitutes? How could and I talk about money when you're talking about prostitutes? All what? I told you was, is in the neighborhood we was at, there were prostitutes down the street to watch yourself when and, you leave. That's uh, all that, I said. No, no, no. Let me, did, no, Tracy, no, let me ask Tom, let you me ask you a you question. You town playing with them. Let me ask and, you, and, let me ask him a question. Tom, did you think she was a prostitute? <sighs> <laughs> he can't even lie. Tell you the truth, any woman who walks in and starts asking about money, something's wrong here. Okay? I didn't ask you about no money. I got money right. than you ever have. Believe me. And if I didn't have that so, much money, I would find me some money to buy me another coat. <laughs> well, why don't you buy me a coat? I want to buy you nothing. Why don't you buy me a coat? I want to buy you nothing. Keep wearing that one. That one becomes you. Let, Tom, let me go back to. Uh, I want. We haven't even gotten to the to the the office. Was it your office you went to? Where'd you go? It used to be a there's rental no, property of mine. There's no lights, no heat. The house was in the process of being auctioned off. There was no house. Was why did you tell her you were going it to the office house. then? It was an apartment. You told her it was your office, though, right? So you weren't being the it truth? It wasn't. We moved my office over there because I own the house, okay? But there were no lights or... We like... did not. We shut the lights off the day before I met with this woman, okay? Yeah, right. you, you know you better say it that. And, uh... So the lingerie was there. Yes. And yeah. there was no mattress on the floor? No mattress at all. No camera? No camera. <laughs> well, well, I'll be. I think what happened was... I'll be. We when she left... 
Where the bad lock show at? Bring him over here because he's lying. We'll investigate. Yeah. We got we got some audience that's really, really wants to ask you questions. Yeah. Uh, sweetheart, you got a problem. Uh the guy right there. Him? Yes. He yeah, has a come, serious they, problem. Can you smell you it? must be wait a minute. Wait a minute. You wait, wait, you must be into some type of pornography or something because that's the way it sounds to me. You got legless jays all over the place and you got uh, little bed stuff all over the place. I mean, you must be into some porno <laughs> stuff or something. You know? Huh? Maybe he's a pimp. <laughs> what? I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're having a bad hair life, not a bad hair day. She's an attractive <laughs> black woman, and you're just a scum. <laughs> you will. Go on a diet. You know, we're, I just, let me just remind you, we're only hearing we're only hearing two sides of the story. So try to keep your comments a little less personal and more to you know. I don't want our guests to be uh, insulted by coming on here. So we'll we'll we, we got not insulted. You can say well, we you don't want to insult say. Tom either. We we're you know we're gonna you get upset. Why would you get upset unless you know they right? You know what I'm saying? Truth gonna speak for itself. I gotta lie about a, a instant Polaroid camera. It was there. The lingerie was there, and there was a, a mattress pad rollout or whatever you want to call it rug. On the floor. Was there something? Was there something on the floor that could have looked like a mattress? No, ma'am. You Nothing said it was on the a rug. Floor. All right. Does it look like? We a are mattress? gonna. No, this is a rug. Does it look like a mattress well, to you? Well, put your hair down. We're gonna face. take you a break. We're gonna come back, and maybe Tom rug. can tell us what he does for a living. <laughs> oh, we're back talking to Tracy and Tom, and we can't. What do you do for a living, Tom? I was selling clothes, but we closed the business up. And uh, we're, I'm getting into the cleaning business now. Oh. Okay. Idea. All right. Good idea. Huh? We have a lot of audience. Let me try to get some of the audience questions. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for Tracy. I hear you saying one thing, but your body language is saying something else. You're leaning in towards well, him. Well, no, I, I sit. Well, you, you know, could lean I, the other I'm way. It doesn't matter because no you're, matter where I sit, you're it's saying it doesn't travel. bother you to be near him. And if he's that no, gross, he's, I would, person, I would be far away from him. No, he's a person. He's an individual. You know, I do what makes me comfortable. You know, I care less about another. You know what I'm saying? I know he know I do not want him. Oh, yeah, he knows thank that. Thank God. This question is for Tracy. You, why didn't you leave the restaurant immediately after you saw him? And I have a, I have a comment for you. I have a comment for you. Blind date, you know, and and when I seen him but from you a, saw when you got when, there. when I seen him from afar, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's not about a person and the way that they are, but it's about you know the way that they act, you know. I mean, because a person a person could be the ugliest person in the world, but their attitude and their personality will make them beautiful. So I wasn't what, just what gonna leave you, without finding. What was it his attitude that made you stay with him? What, what, what was that? What oh wait, yeah, go ahead. Him? Okay, haven't you heard of the old saying? Once you go black, you never go back. What are you doing with him? You keep saying you're a black woman. No, I am. I, am, I mean, I am do black. you like I this man? Black, because black evidently woman, but, but, there's I mean, something going on between you. My mind doesn't have to be limited to being black. There's something going on that you're not telling. My mind doesn't have to be limited to being black. I mean, I you didn't have to, you you have to meet that man all the way along you know, to his apartment. I've never been white you before. You want something like out of him, and you're not. I have never been white before. I might like it. I might like it. I agree with your description about him. But you said it didn't matter um, whether he was Caucasian or not. Yeah. But you keep standing up saying, I'm black, I'm black. I it's am black. Does, see, what I, I realize that, but... I have never it, been with a white man before. He might change my mind. All but the if color that doesn't matter to you... Might, might, they might not be true. If color doesn't matter to you, why do you keep standing up, I'm black, I'm black? We can because because I, am. I am. I am. I am. Yeah. And it's just, it's just some, things, it's some things that black people will not tolerate from nobody. Like you running okay. your mouth. Okay, my question... I'm not going to keep on listening to you running your mouth. Tracy, up here. Ain't nothing to do with no black man. Okay, my question is for Tom. If you, even if you did want to go out with her, when you, the point of a blind date when you're meeting someone is to uh, come dressed to impress. Okay, when you was at home, it's like you made up your mind. Well, I don't care what she looked like. I, I, you know, I don't care what I look you like. You said you didn't even brush your teeth, right? Did okay. you take a shower? Yeah, I took a shower. She said you smelled. She did. He do. He do. Well, I mean, I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> well, no, that then ain't got nothing to do with sweat. Obviously, the date's not going too well. I just want to know why you gave him a ride to his office. Because why didn't you tell him to take a, a cab or something? I mean, just because the date, I knew, I knew that I wasn't going to see him anymore. But it, it does not matter. You know, I'm not going to be rude to somebody because I don't like them or because I don't want to be with them. Yeah. He didn't have a ride. Okay. You know, I have a ride. I'm going to give him a ride. I wasn't worried about what he was right. going to do to me. I don't think we should make this into a race issue here. It doesn't, okay, it's that's not that, about race. It's about, it's right. about a bad date, okay? And that's all it's about. And my question is, what kind of 
date were you expecting if you like didn't drive to your date, didn't make any plans or anything? What were you going to do? Like just sit in the bar? Is that what the deal was? You're talking to me? Talking to yeah. Tom, yeah. Okay. Like, First of all, you know, you ain't drive. I think she addressed to me, not Whatever, you. Whatever, just hurry up so right. I can hear him get up off of you. I hope so. Uh, want, um, the bottom line of it is I did have a car, by the way, folks, okay? What else is he lying about? The camera, maybe? Think about that one. Don't take me out of the car. He lies. Tom? Where was your car? It was parked right there at the bar. <coughs> you lied? The reason why I lied to her about the car situation was very simple, was because I was trying to find out what the hell this woman was all about. Because all she was worried about, she found out. Hold it, hold it, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Tom, Tom, Tom. I figure it out. He thought you was a prostitute, so he was taking you to where that little rug was. That bed. That bed. No, afraid not, honey. No. You didn't, you didn't deny that you didn't think she was a prostitute? I thought she was. You know what? We're gonna, we'll be here for five hours if I don't move on. Let me move on and introduce... Well, well, no, I want to ask him, did you think I was a high-paid high prostitute? Because I was driving I a BMW a 320i. I was driving a BMW. You wasn't driving anything. So you must have thought I was a high-priced prostitute. You must have thought, if you thought I was a prostitute, Tom, you had to think I was a high-priced prostitute. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You had to think I was a high-priced prostitute. 